In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to convert units of any array to another. This is part three of the series. Keep in mind that more advanced conversions often require two different units to be converted. The best method is to convert one unit at a time. In question number one, they ask us to convert 18 kilometers per hour into meters per second. Now it helps to know that one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters and that one hour is equal to 3,600 seconds. Now keeping that in mind, let's write down what we have. We have 18 kilometers per hour. And what we're going to do first is convert kilometers first. And it doesn't really matter. You can convert hours to seconds first. But I've chosen kilometers. And now we are going to use this first conversion ratio to do that. This can be written as 1 kilometer over 1,000 meters or 1,000 meters over 1 kilometer. Now of these two versions, I'm going to use this one because if I multiply this by 1,000 meters over kilometers, the kilometers part, the units, will cancel out and we're left with meters at the top, which is what we're looking for. Now we want to convert from hours to seconds. Just like the previous one, this can be written as one hour over 3,600 seconds or 3,600 seconds over one hour. Now, of these two versions, we will be using the top one, because if you multiply this whole thing by one hour over 3,600 seconds, you'll notice that this hour and this hour unit will cancel out. So we're left with 18 times 1,000. I'm simply multiplying everything at the top. I don't need to multiply by one because it's going to give me the same answer. So I'm going to equate this and then divide by everything at the bottom. 1 times 1 times 3,600, which gives us 5. That is 5 meters per second. Question number 2 asks us, Usain Bolt ran 100 meters in 9.58 seconds. Convert his speed to kilometers per hour. So he ran 100 meters per every 9.58 seconds. Now we're going to use the same conversion factors as before. Now remember, there are 1,000 meters and 1 kilometer. So if we multiply this by 1 kilometer over 1,000 meters, you'll notice that this m and this m will cancel out because it's one on top of the other. Now similarly, we need to now go from seconds to hours. And if we use this version of the two that were shown above, where you have 3,600 at the top, in one hour at the bottom, you'll notice that the seconds will cancel out. And then you only have kilometers and hours to work with. So let's multiply all of this out. 100 times 3,600. So I've just multiplied everything at the top, divided by 9.58, this number, times 1,000 gives me the following number, 37.57, 37.57 kilometers per hour. That is the speed of Usain Bolt in kilometers per hour. And finally, the last one, convert 80 nanometers per second to kilometers per hour. To do this, you need to know the conversion between nanometers and kilometers. Nanometers has a multiplier of 10 to the power of negative 9 and kilometers has a multiplier of 10 to the power of 3. So from kilometers to meters, you would multiply the number by 10 to the power of 3. And from nanometers to meters, you'd multiply it by 10 to the power of negative 9. So now that we've shown this, we're going to take this minus 9 and subtract it from this 3. And we end up with negative 12. And what this negative 12 is telling us is that 1 nanometer is equal to 10 to the power of negative 12 kilometers. That is one of our conversion factors. Another conversion factor that we know already is that 3,600 seconds is equal to one hour. So let's start off by converting nanometers to kilometers. 80 nanometers over seconds. I'm going to use this conversion factor. Remember that one nanometer is equal to 10 to the power of negative 12 kilometers. And this will cancel out the nanometers and also, from seconds to hours, 
we're going to use 3,600 seconds at the top and one hour at the bottom. So let's multiply all of this out. 80 times 10 to the power of negative 12 times 3,600 divided by 1, which we won't do, gives us 2.88 times 10 to the power of negative 7 kilometers per hour. Keep in mind that another way that you could have done this as well is you could have taken 80 nanometers, I'm going to show this below, over seconds, and then we could have multiplied 1 meter over 10 to the power of negative 9 nanometers, and this would cancel out the nanometers, and then we could have multiplied 1 meter at the bottom with 10 to the power of 3 kilometers, and then multiplied this by 3,600 seconds over one hour, and this would cancel out the seconds, and you would end up with kilometers over hour as well. Either method will give you the same answer, and it is strictly up to you as to which one you should use. So there you have it. Three more examples on how to convert units of any rate to another. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.